you're still pretty upset about last night. I passed upset at 3 o'clock this morning. <laughs> right now, I'm up to homicidal. Mr. K. Baker was pretty mad last night. I wonder what he's thinking this morning. I know what I'm thinking, but I'm too much of a gentleman to use certain phrases about a woman. So let's put it this way. If I saw that your wife was going to be hit by a falling safe, I'd just stand there and smile. Harry, that's not very nice. I passed nice at 2 o'clock this morning, right after Kay Baker phoned to cancel the account. Fortunately, I was able to talk him out of it. Oh, I'm sorry about that, Larry, but Sam was provoked into doing what she did. It was thoughtless and inexcusable. A child would have had more sense. Wait a minute. Kay Baker's daughter deserved it. She's a sarcastic snob. And her father ought to wash out her mouth with some of that crummy detergent he makes. That crummy detergent happens to keep us in business. Sure, Miss K. Baker can do no wrong as long as her father's got wall-to-wall -wall money. If you were a billionaire, Samantha still acted like a child. Oh, yeah? Yeah. <laughs> At least you could have used a little discretion like my wife. Larry, I've got news for you. That wife of yours has come up with a few nuggets herself. Oh, really? I mean, if we're talking about boners, let's get all the names on the list. And name me just one boner that Louise ever pulled. Just one. There was the time she thought the client's wife was his mother. There was the time she forgot the theater tickets. There was... I said one. <laughs> so don't go making cracks about my wife. Just worry about that cuckoo that you're married to. Well, if Louise is such a drag, you don't have to associate with her anymore. Agreed. And you can consider Samantha off-limits, too. In fact, you don't have to associate with me anymore. Well, let's add my vote to that proposal and make it unanimous. Great. You keep your big flat feet out of my office, and I'll keep mine out of yours. I'll go you one better. I'll keep my feet and everything that's attached to them out of the entire building. I quit. Good. You just saved me two weeks' severance pay. Cheap. 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 <laughs> I heard you come in. What are you doing home so early? I got sick. Sick? Of working. I quit. Quit? Quit. Evacuated the premises. Ceased working. Hit the road. What happened? Oh, I shouldn't be telling you this. Why not? Because we're not talking. Well, if we were talking, did it have anything to do with what happened last night? Larry and I got into an argument, and he said some things about you I didn't like. You said some pretty unkind things about me yourself. That's different. I'm your husband. Well, I appreciate your defending me. But whatever he said, he was right. And so were you. I should have had more control last night. Well, Kay Baker's daughter deserved it. Well, I still could have ignored her. I wouldn't let you ignore her. You did the right thing. Darren. When you pick a side, will you please stick with it? Now, Sam, it's all over and done with. I've already got another job lined up, and I've got to hurry over to an interview. Another job? Darren, that's ridiculous. Ridiculous? The Ames Advertising has had feelers out for me for a long time. Well, they're going to get me. I hope you don't get it. I can't miss. I'm the perfect man for the job.